So for years now, I've tried to show you that when working with epoxy, how the best practices can yield the highest quality results. And I'm talking about mix ratios, how deep you can pour, and a bunch of other factors surrounding working with epoxy. But what if we were to throw that all out the window? But I feel like I'm not the one that's qualified to explain this, so let me go grab someone who is. Hey, Professor Bill's here. It's been a minute. I missed you guys. Now as someone with a doctorate in epoxology and a minor in tree frog mating rituals, I feel like it's my job to explain to you what we're gonna do today, what could potentially go wrong, and the dangers surrounding that. We gotta get this outside, man. We gotta get it outside. So our test subject today is this Total Boat 2 to 1 high performance epoxy. With this stuff, you don't wanna pour more than a quarter inch at a time because that exothermic reaction will run away from you. Now all epoxy cures with an exothermic reaction, but when you get your mix ratios off or you pour too deep, that exothermic reaction kicks in and it happens too fast. So what happens if we take this total high performance resin that's only supposed to be poured a quarter inch deep at a time, pour this two and a half inches deep? Well today, we're gonna find out. My plan is to turn this into a functional piece of furniture and I'm gonna then give that away to one of you, but you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to find out more about that. Often when I'm doing epoxy pours, I have my uh, little heat temperature gun here and I've seen epoxy get up to 350 degrees. That's the same temperature that most things that you bake get up to. But the first thing we need to do is build a form. We're gonna do a 28 inch round and then we can get to our experiment. I've got this uh, scrap piece of melamine here gonna cut out a circular form on uh, Owen Wilson here. Wow, 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 wow. Every time I walk around this corner, this is what happens. All right. I think what I wanna do is cut this down. It's really tall, it's five inches tall. All right, one of the things that I am worried about is the fact that it's about 65 degrees here in the shop. And as I mix up two to one high performance resin in these gallon buckets, it's too deep of a mix and it's gonna kick on me really fast. So it's about 35 degrees outside. I've got my uh, crappy drill that I can use for these epoxy pours. I say we take the jackery outside, we can plug into that. We can mix outside where it's nice and cold and that should prevent this from kicking too fast before we can get it into the mold. We don't want premature articulation. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, without mixing them, I'm going to pour the epoxy into all these buckets. So we'll have five gallons ready to mix up. Okay, yeah, close enough. We're going to mix for three minutes. Oh, dude, it's already starting to heat up a little bit. Oh man, it's at 70. Dude, I'm not so sure we're gonna have enough time to do this. Go ahead and grab the other drills. We'll tag team it. I'll do two and you do two. Three minutes. Three minutes? Yep. Oh, getting epoxy all over me. Did you see those ups? Total Boat 2 to 1 high performance epoxy is made to pour a quarter inch deep. We're gonna experiment and see what happens when we pour over two inches deep, starting in three, two, dump it right in there. We got a lot of bubbles because we were using those drill mixers. There shouldn't be any issues with this first layer. So normally that's where you would stop. You wouldn't pour any deeper than that. And that's actually a little on the deep side. That's probably closer to a half inch right there. Bucket number two, this is gonna put us at almost an inch. This is, uh, puts us in the danger zone. Bucket number three. Okay, that's three buckets down. Holy hell, that's a lot of epoxy. It looks cool, man. Look at the, uh, the different rings. You can tell where a bucket was whipped more than the other. All right, last bucket. Here we go. That is five gallons of Total Boat high performance epoxy, about two and a half inches deep and it's only supposed to go a quarter inch deep at a time. I don't feel any heat yet. We are at 65 degrees, which is, oh, 66. We're already climbing. Yeah, we're at 70. Yeah, we're climbing already. I feel like we should be 
prepared in case we need to uh, evacuate. Professor Bills here, and I wanted to take a minute to talk about being prepared if you do have to evacuate. With the Jackery Explorer 1000, be prepared for whatever life throws at you, especially the extreme winter weather. During a winter ice storm a few years ago, I lost power for 11 days, and I only wish that I had the Jackery Explorer 1000 to power my devices during that time. This thing can run appliances such as a coffee maker, a TV, or even a full-size refrigerator. The Jackery Explorer 1000 comes equipped with three pure sine wave AC outlets, USB-C, USB-A, and the Jackery Explorer 1000 and the solar panels are ultra portable with this convenient carry handle on the unit and the solar panels. With 1000 watts of power and 2000 watts of surge power, the Jackery Explorer 1000 and the Solar Saga 100 solar panels are ready for whatever adventures or life throws at you. With the holiday season coming up, Jackery is offering huge Discounts. So check out that link below and stay prepared with safe, quiet, reliable, portable power. Thanks to Jackery for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the experiment. Ooh, it's heating up in some places. That's what's going to happen is it's going to start in one spot and then spread out. Yeah, we're at 80, 81, 82, four minutes after pour. And we are sitting at about 93 degrees, which actually surprises me. 95. Okay. I am going to go respirator on because this is about to get nasty. Ooh, I can feel the heat coming off of it, dude. No smoke yet. Just in case, I grab a fire extinguisher. We are at 111. Is that, uh, up to date? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dr. Like shit's about to start happening. Oh, shit. We're smoking, guys. We're smoking. Oh, we're smoking a lot. Okay, we're at 185. Whoa, look what it's doing, dude. Yeah. That is crazy looking. Dude, I don't know, man. 190, 207, 212. <laughs> we, got, we got to get this outside, man. We got to get it outside. Um. <laughs> oh, shit, 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 shit. Holy cow, it's smoking like crazy. Holy shit. Careful, Whoa! Ah! Oh no! Oh my god, it's smoking so much. Oh god, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh god, 300 degrees! Jeff, get the marshmallows! Go, go, go! Okay. Whew. That was a close one. Oh shit, I got marshmallow on it. <laughs> no! Ow! 300 degrees. Ow! Ow! Whew. Okay. It burned the tape. Oh, it melted the tape. Two hours later. Okay, that was crazy. The whole thing has turned into a bowl. I don't even know how to describe it. It is now two hours after we poured and it is still 165 degrees. I mean, it's still pretty hot to the touch. A lot of the tape underneath has melted. Come over here, check this out. Look how much it shrunk, a half inch of shrinkage. I haven't seen that much shrinkage since prom night. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it sit and continue to cool overnight. Tomorrow, we'll take it out of the form, kind of assess what we've got, and then we'll put it back in the form, and then I'm gonna pour some epoxy on this, and I'm gonna make something really cool. Oh, baby. It's the next morning. She is not light. I'm gonna try to demold this bad boy. Oh, that may go a lot easier than what I thought. What? Bro, that was crazy easy. Oh, wow, that texture is really cool. Some really interesting stuff here. I don't know what you would call that. Oh, Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Put on my brown pants. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We're gonna roll with this because I don't have a choice. This is not ideal. My original plan was to uh, pour some light blue epoxy over this and turn it into something that's really unique and interesting looking um, with everything that's going on underneath. Now I just have the added challenge of the fact that it's broken. Anybody tell me where that goes? This is my plan. 
I'm going to assemble this inside the form. I want to do a little bit of um, sanding. So the epoxy that I pour down in here gets a good bond. And then once everything is cured, I'll put it on the CNC and flatten the bottom. So I'm just gonna brush on a layer, kind of a, a goopy layer. Maybe a little on the bottom to help it stick to the form. So I'm getting down to my last couple remaining scraps of Baltic birch, and I'm gonna use this to make the table base for this uh, coffee table. It's a pretty simple design. I'll pop it up on the screen here, but the reason why I'm gonna do it on my CNC, one, I like using my CNC, so there's that. We're gonna do the pour of thick set epoxy. I'm gonna tint it like a real light blue, but the first thing I need to do is go get my sander, give this whole thing kind of a light sanding so it'll adhere properly. That's pretty dang close. So I said I was gonna use uh, Total Boat Thick Set, but all I have is Thick Set Fathom. So this is a super deep pour uh, epoxy system. It's a two to one mix ratio. I'm gonna mix it in a bucket and it'll be pretty easy since one, two, to one. Oh God. Gonna add some of this mix all blue pigments. That is so cool looking. Wow, I love it. Four to six days later. It has been a full five days that this has been curing and it is rock solid. So I'm ready to take it out of the mold and see what we're working with. Oh, that is so exceptionally satisfying. By the way, did you notice the, uh, the Johnny Builds shirt? This is a logo made by my friend, Keith Decent. I really, really like it. It's my favorite logo. The only way you can get one of these exclusive Johnny Builds t-shirt is to sign up for my Patreon. Now, I know that's a total sales pitch and it's meant to be. When you sign up for the Patreon, you get exclusive merch. You get access to our YouTube live streams that we're gonna be doing. That's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. There's a tier in there where you could actually win a Johnny Builds project. Like I will build something for you and deliver it to you. I've got links for that down below. No pressure. Definitely check it out. Oh yes, oh my God, it's heavy. Don't drop it this time, Johnny. Man, I love the color. That looks so cool. That's satisfying. So all this tape that you see is still from that first pour. The Thick Set Fathom has completely covered it up. So we're gonna take this over to the CNC and start flattening this bottom side. Uh, get the thickness down right now, it's uh, three inches thick. And then we'll come back and we'll sand everything, polish it up, and uh, one of y'all are gonna get to own this thing. I'll explain how here in a minute, but let's get this over to the CNC. So I'm done sanding. This is where I'm gonna leave it. I really, really like this look. This is sanded up to 220 grit. And personally, I think it looks like a big block of Arctic ice or something. I think the bottom actually looks cooler than the top. You can see some of the cracks where I dropped this thing. Hopefully I don't drop it again. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving this away to one of you. I've made a coffee table base. I can't put it together yet because it has to flat pack so I can ship it to you, but I'll put everything in here that you would need to put it together. In order to win this, we're gonna be doing a YouTube Live next Saturday, which is December 17th at 1 p.m. Central Time. So that's 2 p.m. Eastern. You have to be in the YouTube Live to do that. And you have to have left a comment in this video. If you want merch, I've got that. If you want this particular shirt, 
You gotta be a Patreon member, but I've got other merch. Get subscribed, it's the number one way you can help this channel, help me out, help this business grow. Hit the like button, leave a comment, watch my new videos when they come out, and all of you who do that, I really, really appreciate you. The next couple of videos are gonna be some pretty robust build projects. Jeff, give them a little preview of uh, kind of what we're working with over here. 12 foot tall, white oak slab, and some walnut, and some other stuff going on. I'm doing some really awesome builds. One of them's for my daughter, and the other one's for my wife. They're Christmas presents. Shh, don't tell them. They don't watch my videos, so they, they won't see it. Check us out in the YouTube Live so you can win this table. And as always, thanks for checking this one out, and I'll see you back here next time.